To create a custom staircase, I usually like to begin by drawing in the basic body of the staircase, then come back in and modify that staircase. To achieve that, we can go to the project browser and then underneath floor plans, go to our level one view, then zoom into our staircase. Now, what I like to do is flare out the bottom of the staircase, as well as round off the end of the landing. To accomplish that, we need to first select on the staircase itself by moving our cursor over to one of the treads and then clicking on the tread. That'll highlight the entire staircase and allow us to select on Edit Stairs up on the ribbon. After clicking on Edit Stairs, let's go through the process of modifying the bottom tread of this part of the staircase. So select on this part of the stair, then come up here and select on a button called Convert. Now it'll pop up this dialog box and all that it's saying is that if you do this process, this will no longer be a stair component. Instead, it'll be a sketch-based staircase, which means that if you need to make any modifications, you'll have to sketch it in from here on out. And that's okay, that's what we wanna do. So click on Close, then select on Edit Sketch. Now what we need to do is modify this bottom tread of the staircase. I'd like to have it flare out in this direction and then flare out in this direction. To accomplish that, I'll come up here to where we have Boundary and select on Boundary. Then select on the Start End Radius Arc. Pick this point, come out here at about a 45 degree angle and then click and then make a rounded arc in this direction like that. Then select on the Line Tool and then come out about three inches to your left. Now the next thing I'd like to do is just hit escape a couple of times to get out of drawing lines, then pick on this green line, click and hold your mouse button down on the dot, and then pull that dot back to the end point of this arc. Now I'd like to duplicate the same information over to the other side of the stair. To accomplish that, I can either draw it again, or I can just window around those objects, then come up and use the mirror command. So if you select mirror pick axis, you can then pick on this blue line, to mirror it around to the other side. The next step will be to get rid of this dark line here. This is actually a riser, and ultimately I'd like to place that riser from this point down to this point. So with the riser highlighted, click the delete key on the keyboard, then come up here and select on riser. Make sure that line is selected, click the endpoint here, come down like this, click the endpoint down there. Hit escape a couple times on the keyboard. Finally, we need to adjust this green line by selecting on the line, clicking on the dot, and then pulling it back to the same location as the other line. Now that I've created this flare out condition here at the bottom, click on the big green check mark. What it's telling us is that we have an invalid path for the staircase. This is a fairly common error. And what this means is that this line here is not extended all the way out to this final line that makes up the staircase. So we'll select on continue, pick on the line, drag that line out to the end, then pick on the big green check mark again. Click the big green check mark one more time. And now let's take a look at our staircase in a 3D view. So move your cursor up here to the default 3D view icon and let's take a look at the staircase. What I'd like to do is click on this corner of the view cube to spin the staircase around. And now if we zoom in, we can see that we have the railing coming around sort of wrapping around the edge. And here we have that same stair condition that we just drew in in plan view. Now I'd like to do something similar with our landing between our two sections of stair. So let's go back to a plan view, go to level one, zoom out, select on the stair, click on edit stairs, click on the landing. And once again, we need to convert this landing so that it's a sketch object. Click on close then Edit Sketch. Now let's delete this green line here, as well as the green line here. Now what I'd like to do is have an arc from this point down to this point, and then a second arc from this point to this point. So select on the Start End Radius Arc, click the end point here, come down, come out three foot six inches, and then click, and then draw in another arc from this point, straight down, and in this case, I don't want to bring it all the way out to that six inches. I just want to bring it out to right about here. Then click on the big green check mark. 
After doing that, if we zoom out, we can see that we have a nice round back to the landing, a much smaller curve between this stair and this stair, and we still have the custom shape down at the bottom of our staircase. Click on the big green check mark to finish off the stair. We'll notice that the railing here is also adjusted to meet that curve. And if we select on the default 3D view icon, we can now see our custom staircase with all of its curves.